I'm CJ. I'm an artist and I'm a mom and I spend most of my day taking care of my two-year-old. Um, but in the moments that I can grab, um, I paint. I've been a professional artist for over 10 years. Uh, I've exhibited in nine countries all over the world. I've traveled um, and done art projects with artists in so many different places and I love connecting with artists and talking to them about what makes them tick, what makes them excited, what is motivating to them. Um, and I spent a lot of my professional life supporting artists, you know, helping them figure out their marketing and their branding. But when I became a mom, <laughs> That totally changed. Uh, I had thought that having my painting stuff on the side would be enough for me. And when I became a mom, I realized that I didn't miss sending emails. I didn't miss <laughs> um, organizing shows. I didn't miss that. Apparently that was not what my true calling was. What I missed constantly was being able to paint. I mean, I miss that every second of every day when I was pinned to the bed with a breastfeeding kid who just needed more milk, even though they'd been breastfeeding for 18 hours already. That's what I missed. I wanted to pick up my brushes and one of my paints, and that was where I found my sanity. Uh, but when my son was born, it was really hard for me to figure out how to integrate that artist self with that mom self. Um, I felt like I was always on demand for my kid. He still is breastfeeding at two and a half. Um, and I wanted to be present. I wanted to be engaged in how he's learning. I wanted to make sure that he was getting everything he needed. And I'm the primary parent at home. And it was really hard to figure out where I fell into that. Not just my physical needs, you know, making sure I eat, making sure I move my body, but how do I get fed creatively? And that's been a really tough journey for me. And the reason why I wanted to just start this channel was to talk openly about how I've made the decisions that I've made, what's been helpful for me. And I think that what I've learned may be helpful to other moms out there or other parents. You know, I know it's not just moms being at home with their kiddos, especially right now. With quarantine happening and COVID-19 out there for the foreseeable future, a lot of us are going to be at home with our kids. And for many of us, our creativity is the key to our mental health. You know, I know that is for me. If I'm not painting, I'm not a very nice person after a while. <laughs> you, may be, you may be dealing with the same stuff, right? So... What I wanted to share is a little bit, again, about my backstory, but then I, I want to, over the next few weeks, be able to offer some tips about how you can set up your house so that you can be creative at the drop of a hat. I want to talk about how you can integrate your kid into what you're making, um, which really takes the pressure off so that you can work together. Uh, and then I also wanted to talk a little bit more about how to internally find ways for yourself to be okay that your creativity isn't going to look like it used to, you know, and because I feel like that's the biggest barrier, right? We want to hold on to how our creativity has been in the past and we want to pretend like somehow miraculously we can either make that happen in these circumstances we've never been in before, or we want to pretend like, um, if we just wait long enough, right, we can get back to it. That's not going to happen. My love It's it's just not going to be that way. So we have to find ways in ourselves and in our life to make this work. Um, and again, like that's great, right? Um, this new set of constraints is a, is a fascinating opportunity to find out what's truly important to you. And also what, what can shift and become new? You know, what are the things you took for granted? What are the assumptions that you made about yourself and how can we find new ways to open new doors? and find some freshness in our creative life. So that's why we're rolling with this. Um, I hope it's helpful. <laughs> and if it's not, that's cool. You know, take what you, take what you want, leave the rest. That's fine. Um, 
You can find me at www.cjhowardart.com, which is my website. You can also find me uh, on Instagram at cj, cj underscore Howard underscore art. Uh, so I hope you'll subscribe uh, and that you'll want to watch more of these videos. And hopefully this will be helpful for you. If it's not, please let me know what you need and I'll be happy to support you however I can. So it's been fantastic to connect with you today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if there's anything else that you need, just reach out. Thank you.